Wanna see me run to that mountain and back? You wanna see me do it again? Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Quantum Translocator. The Quantum Translocator was developed by the UNSC thanks to research and reverse engineering efforts on translocation systems employed throughout Forerunner installations and those used by modified Promethean constructs. While prior efforts with the MX-1050 resulted in a device capable of translocating inorganic slipspace crates over small distances, the ability to transport living organisms remained out of reach for some time. Encounters with Promethean forces on Requiem in 2557 later gave the UNSC reason to accelerate their research and development on such prototypes. The Quantum Translocator is a small box-like device meant to be mounted on someone's wrist. Upon initial activation, a slipspace portal is placed. When the user activates the device a second time, another portal is placed where the user stands and they are instantly translocated through the portal, returning to the site of the previous activation. This process can be repeated a number of times, with each activation returning the user to the site of the previous activation. Here are some QT trademarks, you can pause and read what they say if you wish. Moving on to stats, the time it takes to activate the Quantum Translocator is about 2.6 seconds. You only get one charge out of it, but the duration lasts for about 30 seconds. You can translocate yourself 9 times total, and the recharge time for each translocate is around 3.15 seconds. One last thing to note about the Quantum Translocator is that if you see someone's portal that someone, well, translocated from, don't stand on it. And that's the Quantum Translocator. Overall, I think it's a really cool piece of equipment, but I feel that it's misplaced. What I mean by that is, this thing isn't a power-up. 343 wants this to be a power-up, but I feel that the QT isn't strong enough to be a power-up. I don't think the QT is gonna swing games into a, uh, into a team's favor. I also don't think the QT is as influential on a map like the classic OS and camo. I don't think the QT deserves to be a power-up, and should be nerfed to the regular equipment spawners. So, some changes I would like to see on it is nerf the total amount of times you can teleport from 9 times all the way down to 3 times. Maybe the duration and recharge times could get nerfed as well, but teleporting only 3 times from the QT should be enough. And that's all I gotta say. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel, and let me know your thoughts on the Quantum Translocator in the comments below. And until next time, peace.